Welcome back to The Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. The numbers with this flu epidemic have been frightening. At 1.4 thousand Americans dying every week because of the flu, and the numbers in Delaware also unacceptable. Dr. Carol Rattay is the director of the Delaware Division of Public Health. Thank you so much for being here. We're always talking about the flu, it seems. And you you push the flu shot every year. You, you suggest people get the flu shot every year. And this year, it seems particularly ineffective. What happened? Um, so we do push the flu shot every year. And it is less effective this year than some years, so it's approximately 36% effective against getting influenza. But I think it's important to recognize it still is preventing a lot of cases of influenza. Additionally, for those who get influenza, they're less likely to have a severe of cases, including you know needing hospitalization and death. So. Um, it's not what we'd love to see. We, you know, we'd love to see it be 100% effective uh, against influenza, and it's not that. Um, In a good year, it's about 60% effective. Yeah, around 50 to 60%. So um, it's you know it's it's typically not up in the 90s to 100s, and you know that's something certainly we hope that in the not too distant future we see improvements in. But again, it still is our most effective way to prevent the more serious consequences of influenza and the spread of influenza. How hard has Delaware been hit? Yes, yeah, so we've seen record numbers of influenza cases in Delaware this year. I mean, this past week we saw over 1,200 cases. We're up to, unfortunately, 18 deaths total in Delaware this year already. Before it's over, it's going to affect uh, a pretty big percentage of the population. Well, yes. I mean, certainly we have seen, you know, large numbers of the population be ill. And, you know, we know that from looking at our health systems. So right now there's a lot of strain on our emergency departments and our hospitals from people coming in uh, with the flu symptoms. And of course, there's a number of other viruses around right now too, which doesn't help. Right, everybody thinks they get the flu. Everybody's panicked because they hear about the flu, but it, across the country, they've been setting up emergency tents outside of emergency rooms. School districts have had to close down, not because for the kids, but because not enough teachers and administrators there and businesses mm -hmm. are affected. So it, it really does have a strike against the economy. How long do we have to deal with this? Well, you know, we don't know. It's unpredictable. Luckily, we're starting to see a little bit of decrease in activity on the West Coast and in some of our more Southern states. They usually precede us in activity. Because it gets warmer, is that why? Yeah, I mean, they get hit first. It starts in the Southern Hemisphere, so they get hit first and then it, then it, um, it travels up north and east. Because just up to east. last week, uh, people were saying on the news, still get your flu shot. If you haven't got mm -hmm. it, still get your flu shot because this could last another six weeks. Yeah, we're, we are no doubt going to see influenza activity in Delaware for weeks to come. And so, you know, it is critical for individuals to still, you know, do the things that they can to help control this, which very importantly is if you have influenza symptoms, if you have a fever, if you have chills, aches, and cough, please isolate yourself from others. Don't go to work, don't go to the supermarket, stay away from people in your home, and call your doctor. In most cases, you're gonna be um, prescribed an antiviral medication, which is, which is going to help significantly. And um, certainly you don't need to go to the emergency department unless you have more severe symptoms. So call your primary care provider and find out what to do. This is maddening that every year we have this guessing game as to whether the flu vaccine is going to work. And, and it takes six months to, to make this vaccine. W with the advances we've made in medical science, there's not a better way. Yeah, this is an area where I think it's really important that there be a significant federal investment in the development of a better flu vaccine. Um, you know, it's a tricky virus. We see multiple strains. It's unpredictable, it mutates easily. And at this point so far, we really haven't perfected a way to develop the vaccine so that it's, you know, certainly, you know, it's not as effective as we all would love for it to be. And, you know, you look at the number of people in the United States that die every year from influenza. It is critically important that we focus resources on finding a vaccine that's, that's effective.
Yeah, more people are dying now from the flu than the opioid crisis, and yet all this federal funding is going into the opioid crisis, and the flu doesn't seem to get it. However, I will say this. The three pharmaceutical companies that make the flu vaccine make $4 billion. They could reinvest some of that money, couldn't they, and come up with a better vaccine? I think it's important for all involved to be investing resources into making this better. Thank you so much. You always, you always make time. I appreciate it. Dr. Carol Rate, Director of the Delaware Division of Public Health. When we come back, saving Delaware's wetlands. That's when the Delaware Way continues.